Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna do a really nice, I'm thinking about a classic fall beat. I wanna do a beautiful bronzy eye and pair it with a dark lip. I figure this will be the last of my fall looks. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my fall makeup playlist after you watch this video. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get right into it. Subscribe if you're not a member of the family and let's get started. Now first up, for primer I'm gonna be using this this is the Huda Beauty matte perfection and I'm gonna be using this in my oily t-zone because that's where I get the most oily and then I'm gonna be using my Tatcha silk canvas primer it really smoothens everything out if you have any texture this is a really great primer now I know I look crazy <laughs> don't mind that um, I'm gonna be taking my Smashbox studio skin 15 hour hydrating foundation this is in the shade 4.05 and spreading that all over my face with a foundation brush. The one that I'm using currently is the Morphe M439. It's a really great buffing brush. I like to use this technique because I use less foundation and I also go ahead and buff that out with a makeup sponge. This one is from Morphe. Now I've got my Cover FX. This is the PowerPlay Concealer in the shade N Deep 2. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover all my usual areas under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my upper lip area, and also my chin. Something that I love so much about this freaking concealer is that it's so like full coverage I really really like that it really hides my dark circles I'm also going to set this with my Milani setting powder this one has become one of my favorites when it comes to under the eyes and also has a little bit of a tint in it the shade that I use is 02 translucent medium to deep now I'm gonna start with my eyes and I've made sure to go ahead and put that Milani powder right underneath my eyes because I want to catch any fallout that could possibly happen so we don't ruin this night Nice base that we started with. So I've been using a lot of the same stuff lately. I hope you guys aren't bored. This is the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Eye Primer. I really, really like it and I always make sure to go ahead and set that with a translucent powder. Okay, so for my transition color, I've got the A Dose of Colors. This is the Desi and Katie Fruncation Palette and this has become one of my favorite ones to use. This is that middle one, Girl Bye. And I'm just placing it right here this brush that I'm using this is the Fenty uh, blending brush and I like it because you see how much pigment it deposits like straight away it's so freaking nice and it really saves me time because I really don't have to worry about like building that color up you know what I mean and I'm also bringing it right down there in the outer corner and using circular motions so I recently got the masquerade palette from Juvia's place so you guys can see these are all the colors that come in here and I want to try this color Casablanca as the lid color because it looks like the most beautiful like bronze shade but first off I'm gonna go into this color here Ada and then I'm also going to mix it with uh, Zulu right here so I'm gonna just dip my brush in both of those and I'm using the same brush as well and you see how that makes the transition area more like orangey and like mm, just I don't know it looks so much better to me than just this alone I just really like that it looks more like fiery orangey tones now I'm gonna use a denser pointier brush this is from Delium tools it's the 781 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here Fulani and concentrate it on the outer corner and I'm just using circular motions just to really build up that color um, it really does intensify that color when you use circular motions instead of windshield wiping motions. And then I'm going to go ahead back to the Fruncation palette and I'm going to go into this deep brown shade right here. It's called Cheens and go ahead and add that on top of the outer corner. Yay! Now it's time for my favorite shade. This is Casa Blanca, that beautiful, beautiful gold shade that I was telling you about. I'm just going to take a shadow brush. This is the Fenty 200 shadow brush. And of course, I'm gonna take my trusty Fix Plus and spray my brush with it to make sure that this is a lot more pigmented and just vibrant. This looks so pretty. 
oh my gosh I don't even need to use a mixing medium or Duraline although you certainly can but see I just kind of like faded it right at the ends into that dark shade I'm gonna go ahead and take that same blending brush from Delium tools and just blend that out so it looks a little bit more seamless so I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away this excess powder and now we still have a really nice base I'm gonna go ahead and add my liner and lashes off camera just so that we don't have this video going on too long because they honestly take me the longest <laughs> so just in case you guys are curious the lashes that I used are the iconic light lashes from house of lashes this is what the packaging looks like and this is how they look on my eyes I like them because they're dramatic and flirty without being overly heavy or anything like that and they are more affordable than say the Lily lashes um, but I've been loving this style lately I just keep reusing them <laughs> for cream contour I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Espresso stick I always just you know once it's up like this, I take this on the back of my hand and just warm it up because that way it kind of glides a bit better on your skin. And there you go, see? Do the jawline like this. If you're like me and you have a rounder face, this really helps. To blend this out, I take a Real Techniques. This is their uh, sculpting brush and just gently go in. I always do the cheek first. So I just get it spread out to where I want to and then I go over it with a makeup sponge. I'm just going to use the same Morphe one and then I diffuse it out. This is because it's kind of harder for me to uh, spread it to where I want using the sponge because then I just end up moving the makeup underneath but the brush does a better job. Now to set that cream contour we want to go over it with a powder bronzer. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills in Mahogany and I'm going to take just a regular old brush. This is the MAC 135 and go over those areas. Now I'm feeling like I'm in the mood to carve out uh, and clean up where this bronzer is. So we're going to take the straight edge of the makeup sponge, go ahead and dip it into some of this Laura Mercier powder that I have here and carve that out using the straight straight edge and you just want to make sure you go slowly and kind of blend it downwards towards your jaw. I also went right down on either side of my nose and we're going to go ahead and use the technique that Laura Mercier advises which is the kind of push and smooth out if I remember correctly <laughs> the name of that one. So you can use a clean makeup sponge for this. You don't have to use the sponge that Laura Mercier uh, provides although that works too. Just make sure it's one that definitely does not have any product on it. So let's move on to blush. This one is the Too Faced. This is from their Tutti Frutti collection. This is Cherry Bomb. It's so beautiful. And because I have those like berry orangey tones, I think this will complement it perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in here. This is my little brush here and also a dab of this. And we get just a hint and bringing it all the way back you see how I'm brushing it nice and gently so before we add highlight I need to kind of douse my face with some setting spray first we're gonna go ahead and use the morphe continuous setting mist highly recommend that you guys use this if you like to have your makeup look kind of like melted in and not so powdery for highlight we're gonna go ahead and use the Allure Mercier this is the glow one and this is my favorite like everyday conservative type of makeup look because it's not too blinding but it just gives you that nice like glistening effect and the key here okay is that you should use the brush you don't have to use the brush but I feel like it gives the best application it's not just kind of like a gimmick like buy a brush uh, because of that shape here it glides right over the cheekbones so nicely so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that you really want like the lightest possible dusting of it because this stuff really is very 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 pigmented and just add it right there so that it glistens off the high points of the face and you see how nice that looks you just get that like hint of shimmer now I'm gonna go ahead and spray that with my Urban Decay all-nighter uh, setting spray and this is the cherry scented one I know I told you guys this is like not really 
needed it is definitely a setting spray that's doing the most <laughs> but i love the cherry scent it's just mm, it's like a divine so for lips i'm gonna be using good old fenty stena lip paint in unveil and if you guys watched my video trying all of them on maybe you know this is my favorite so i'm just going to apply this all around the lips and i'm also going to use the special tip here to just line my lips so this is what the lippy looks like when it's all dry such a beautiful color right I really really like the formula here doesn't really budge I mean it's not transfer proof if you eat a burrito or something you're gonna have to reapply it but just from talking stuff like that it stays nice and intact um, so look at this look guys first of all I, I think I look like a classy housewife or a whole snack <laughs> or both <laughs> um, I'm really really satisfied with the way this came out and let me know what your thoughts are if you're going to try and recreate this please go ahead and tag me on Instagram or send me a little DM with your picture I want to see it be sure to check out my fall makeup looks playlist right next to me over there and go ahead and subscribe if you're still here and you're not part of the family already I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye